We as humans have been exploring the Red Planet robotically for almost half a century. Since the 1970s, scientists have been sending different types of spacecraft to Mars including rovers, landers as well as flying spacecraft to search for life. Understanding the surface and the planet's evolution and preparing for future human exploration. In this video, we will take a look at those which touched the surface of Mars. Rovers and landers which were launched by NASA. From the first NASA's Mars lander to the latest NASA's Perseverance rover, so let's get started. Viking 1 Lander The Viking 1 lander was NASA's first lander to successfully land on Mars. It was part of NASA's Viking project whose mission was to study the Red Planet and search for signs of life, which was accompanied by a Mars orbiter. They were both launched on August 20, 1975 from Florida. After an 11-month journey, the Viking 1 lander landed on Mars on June 20 at Chris Planitia on Mars. The lander was powered by radioisotope generators. It had various engineering equipment including two facsimile cameras and a three-axis seismometer using its robotic arm and a special biological laboratory. The lander performed the first Martian soil sample, although no signs of life were found. Both the lander and the orbiter helped to better characterize Mars as a cold planet with volcanic soil, a thin dry carbon dioxide atmosphere, and striking evidence for ancient riverbeds. Viking 2 Lander The Viking 2 Lander was NASA's second lander to successfully land on Mars. The Viking 2 Lander, accompanied by an orbiter, were launched on September 9, 1975. The Viking 2 lander landed on Mars in September 1976 at Utopia Planitia on Mars. It operated for 43 months before it was turned off on April 12, 1980, when its batteries failed. Both the Viking landers didn't find traces of life, although Viking 2 lander did find all the elements essential to life on Earth, including carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus. NASA estimates the cost for the entire Viking project was about $7.1 billion. Sojourner Sojourner was the first wheeled robotic Mars rover to land and operate on the Red Planet properly. Sojourner was part of the Mars Pathfinder mission, whose objective was to demonstrate a low-cost method for delivering a set of science instruments to the Mars. The Pathfinder spacecraft, which consisted of the Sojourner rover, Inside a lander was launched on December 4, 1996. It landed on Mars on July 4, 1997 in Eris Vows, powered by solar panels and a non-rechargeable lithium thionyl chloride battery. Sojourner was able to operate day and night. It spent 83 days of a planned seven-day mission, exploring the Martian terrain snapping photographs and taking chemical atmosphere. Various technologies such as airbag-mediated touchdown and automated obstacle avoidance used in both Sojourner and its lander were later exploited by Spirit and Opportunity rovers, the next Mars mission rovers. The costs for Sojourner and its lander were estimated to be $175 million. Spirit Spirit was one of two robotic Mars exploration rovers launched in 2003 to explore Mars and search for signs of past life. The Spirit was launched on June 10, 2003. It successfully landed on Mars on January 4, 2004, within the impact crater Gusev. The Spirit's mission duration on Mars was supposed to be 92 Earth days, but the rover far outlasted its planned mission and functioned effectively over 20 times longer thanks to the Mars wind which cleaned the solar panels, which in turn resulted in more energy from the panels. The rover was also able to travel 7.73 kilometers of its planned 600 meters. But in May 2009, the rover got stuck at an angle that prevented the recharging of its batteries. After months of maneuvering, NASA was unable to free it and eventually decided to end its mission on May 25, 2011. Among its countless great discoveries, Spirit found evidence that Mars was once much wetter than it is today and helped scientists better understand the Martian wind. Opportunity Opportunity was the second robotic rover launched on July 7, 2003. It was also known as Mars Exploration Rover B and nicknamed OP. 
Opie landed on Mars on January 25th. 2004 in Mary Diony Planum. Opportunity was able to stay operational for 14 years and 46 days after landing, 57 times more than its designed lifespan. It was able to stay that long by maintaining its power and key systems through continual recharging of its batteries using solar power. The rover's mission is considered one of NASA's most successful missions. It made great discoveries including strong evidence that long ago some areas of Mars were wet for a long period and that conditions could have been suitable for supporting microbial life. In June 2018, a severe Mars-wide dust storm caused opportunity to lose communication with Earth. NASA made a number of attempts to revive it, but sadly on February 13, 2019, NASA officially decided to end its mission. Adjusted for inflation, both Opportunity and Spirit missions had an estimated cost of $1.2 billion. Phoenix Phoenix was a robotic spacecraft sent to the surface of Mars to assess its local habitability and research the history of water. The lander was launched on August 4, 2007 and landed on Mars on May 25, 2008. Equipped with a robotic arm, Phoenix was able to dig Martian surface up to a half a meter, collect samples, and analyze them using its onboard instruments. The lander verified the existence of water ice in the Martian surface and found traces of perchlorate, a chemical compound that is a possible energy source for microbes. In November 2008, six months after landing, Phoenix lost communications with Earth after its solar panels ceased operating in the dark Martian winter and on May 12, 2010, it was declared dead. The whole Phoenix mission cost was $386 million. Curiosity Curiosity is a car-sized Mars rover designed to explore the Gale Crater on Mars in order to find out if the crater has ever offered favorable environmental conditions for microbial life and perform planetary habitability studies. Curiosity was launched on November 26, 2011, and the rover landed on Mars on August 6, 2012 at Aulis Palace. The Curiosity rover is the most technologically advanced rover ever built before it is equipped with 17 cameras and a robotic arm with a suite of specialized laboratory-like tools and instruments. The rover's mission duration was supposed to be two years, but surprisingly, at the time of making this video, the rover is still operational. It has made a number of discoveries, including evidence of persistent liquid water to support living microbes, organic molecules, and the presence of methane, which is produced by living organisms. The estimated cost for Curiosity is $3.2 billion. InSight InSight is NASA's robotic lander designed to study the deep interior of the planet Mars. Its goals are to understand formation and evaluation on Mars and to determine the level of tectonic activity on Mars. The lander was launched on the 5th of May 2018, which landed at Elysium Planitia on Mars on 26th of November 2018. On the 7th of December 2018, InSight recorded the sounds of Martian winds and sent them back to Earth. This was the first time the sound of Mars wind was heard. While there's more science to come from InSight so far, NASA has learned the following through InSight faint rumblings on Mars of the norm. However, there were no surface waves like those which occur on Earth during an earthquake. According to NASA, InSight's cost $828.8 million. Perseverance Perseverance is an sub-sized Mars robotic rover designed to look for signs of past microbial life, collect rock and soil samples, and prepare for future human exploration. The rover was launched on the 30th of July 2020, and the rover successfully landed on Mars on the 18th of February 2021 at the Jezero Crater, which is thought to have once been flooded with water. The design of Perseverance evolved from its predecessor. It carries seven new scientific instruments and has a total of 19 cameras and two microphones. Aboard the rover, there is a mini helicopter named Ingenuity, an experimental aircraft that will attempt the first powered flight on another planet equipped with a camera. This solar-powered helicopter drone 
will fly from 3 to 5 meters above the ground to search for ideal driving routes for the rover. Perseverance includes a robotic arm with a complex rock coring and sampling mechanism to store geologic samples from the Martian surface in collection tubes or at designated locations on the Martian surface. In 2031, these samples will be returned back to Earth with the help of the Sample Retrieval Lander in the Mars. Sample return mission with an estimated cost of $2.9 billion. I'll mention that Perseverance is NASA's sixth most expensive robotic planetary mission. Well guys, I have a question for you. Since we know only 11% of our world ocean, is it a good idea of exploring so much Mars? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Take care. Until next time.